Hi everyone, today I've got this Christmas card for you that I made using an embossing folder as the main focus. First of all I embossed a plain piece of white cardstock using an embossing folder that I got from Hobbycraft. And then I decided what I would do is pick out elements of the embossed background and colour them in. I decided to choose nice soft colours because I didn't want it to be too bold. I decided to leave certain elements of the background white because the colours that they required would be too much for the card and I couldn't find any alternative colours that I like so I thought it would be better to just leave them plain. I die cut this pink gift tag and I wanted a nice bright white sentiment on it so I decided to use embossing powder and it's a bright white embossing powder from Cosmic Shimmer. I always use white pigment ink when I'm heat embossing, I find it works better. I'm not sure if it's because the clear ink pad that I've got for embossing is just not a very good one, but I just find that pigment ink seems to work better for me, so I just use that. And now I just heat set my embossing powder. In keeping with the soft colours in the background, I've got this nice natural coloured ribbon. It's from Stampin' Up! And I've tied a bow into it and then I adhere it to the edge of the card.
and now I'm adhering my pink border layer before putting my embossed background onto the top of it. Next I adhere my tag placing it under the bow. I use foam adhesive to give it some dimension. Earlier when I used my tweezers to heat emboss my sentiment onto the tag, I made a little mark on the tag. So rather than just giving on it, I decided to add this little snowflake on top of the mark. And I actually think it works really well. Which shows it's good to find a workaround when you make mistakes because you can end up with something that actually looks better than you originally planned. Now I'm adding little gem embellishments to the centre of each snowflake. And that's it, a quick and easy Christmas card that looks quite effective using the embossed background and non-conventional Christmas colours. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I'll be back soon with more Christmas card creations.